So these notes are on special solutions, so you should have your special solutions notes template. You'll see two uh, warm up or a warm up on the top of that page. You um, may leave that warm up blank. You're going to do that in class. So we'll move on to where it says solve the following equations. So we're going to look at example one and we're solving that equation. Remember when we're solving we want to get a variable by itself on one side of the equation. This has variables on both sides so I need to make sure I'm getting the variables to one side. To do that I am going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. That would leave me with 1x on the left plus 2 is equal to 3. Then I want to get rid of the plus 2 with the x, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. That leaves me with x is equal to 1. So I have found my solution, and it is a real number answer that is not 0. I'm just going to point that out. I'd like you to jot it down as well. So this is a real number answer. not zero. Now where that is important is beside the notes, and I have that real small just next to me here, um, but yours is just right beside, that this equation has different constants. And what that means is that that equation started with different constant numbers. The 2 and the 3 are different. And it also has different variable terms. 2x and 3x are different variable terms. And so that means the solution will be a real number. In fact, it was the real number 1. We'll now take a look at another kind of example. So in this next equation, we solve, and we're going to again, again get variables to one side, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. That gives me x plus 2 is equal to 2. I subtract 2 from both sides to get the x by itself, and that gives me x is equal to 0. So my solution set is the value 0. Now looking at where that comes from, this equation has the same constants. 2 and 2. This equation has different variable terms. 3x and 2x. So when an equation has the same constants but different variable terms, then the solution will be 0 because the constant terms get canceled out or drop out. Or cancel out. So we'll take a look at our next example. So if I get the variables to both sides in, or one side in this equation, that means I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides to kind of eliminate a variable off one of the sides. But what happens is I get a cancellation there and I end up with 7 is equal to 2. Now this is untrue. So that means my solution is the empty set. And let's look at why that occurs or when that occurs. When I have different constants, different constants here are 7 and 2. 
and I have the same variable terms, 3x and 3x, then the solution will be an empty set because the variable terms drop out. Now in the next equation we have um, expression that requires distributive property on the right hand side so we'll take a look at that. We get 3x plus 4 on the left and I'm going to distribute the 2 so that gives me 2x plus 2 times 2 gives me 4 plus the x and then I find I have like terms on the right hand side of the expression that I can add together. So that gives me 3x plus 4 is equal to 3x plus 4. Now if I would continue to solve, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides to try and get a variable to one side of the equation. And I end up with 4 is equal to 4. Now this is a demonstration of the reflexive property quality. This is true but then that means that my solution can be any value. So it has to be a true statement in this case as opposed to the last one that was false. So let's look at what when this occurs. So this happens when the equation has the same constants same constants and where we see that we don't see it right away in this one we see that down here with the plus 4 and plus 4 and when they have the same variable terms. And again, in this one, we may not see it right away, but it comes up with the 3x on both sides of the equation. And what happens then is that we get this demonstration of the reflexive property quality, and the solution is all real numbers, and that means any real value would work. In your textbook, this is called the identity meaning that all real values work. So if you see that in your textbook, identity and having all real solutions is the same solution. So to conclude, we have four different types of solutions. Um, you can have one real number and that's where you just you end up with, you know, like, like x is equal to a real number. You could have a solution of 0, and that is where your, you know, solution set is the value 0. And that is where you end up, or you rather you start with different coefficients to your variable, different variable terms. We could have an empty set, and that is no solution, and that's where you have different constants. And you could have a solution set of all real numbers, and that's where you have the same constants and the same variables.